Hey guys, this is Sarah, and today I'm doing my April TBR. So, this month's theme is probably the biggest TBR shelf on my Goodreads besides contemporary. This is the genre that has eluded me for years. Dystopian. When everyone was buzzing with dystopia and The Hunger Games was already out and Divergent was already out and all the news stories were coming out, I moved. <laughs> and I could not read any of them. So, like, the grand majority of the most popular dystopians, I have not read. So, I decided that every April will be dystopian month, because if I don't do that, I'll never catch up with my dystopia. So, for this first round of dystopia month, I've gotten quite a few popular and some not very popular and even a free ebook which I'm really excited about. So let's get started. So besides the dystopian books that I personally picked, I have to do my TBR jar. Rochelle Mead, and that is part of the Bloodline series, so I guess I'll be reading Bloodlines, <laughs> because I can't read this book, because it's probably, I don't even know, it's like the third, the second book, the third book, something like that, so Bloodlines it is. Aside from my TBR jar, also any books that I didn't finish in March, I will be reading. I am pre-filming this, so I have no idea what those books are. But they'll be in my list for the month at the bottom. So depending on what I can finish next this month, this month it's it's still March. Depending on what I can finish this month off my fairy theme, I will add one or two maybe of the books that I didn't finish into this TBR. Even with all of that, my dystopian picks are still pretty ambitious. I have the first week of April free because it's like our spring break, but besides that, I'm going to be working. So who knows? I'm probably not going to finish all of these, but I'm going to try because I want to. So the first four books that go along with my theme are the rest of the Shatter Me series by Tahara Mossy. I read Shatter Me last month as my TBR jar pick and I really enjoyed it, so now that I'm in dystopian, I really want to finish the trilogy. So I will be reading the novella Destroy Me, Unravel Me, yes, I will be reading the novella Fracture Me, and Ignite Me. I am really, really excited, especially for that first novella, because that's where everyone says everything changes, so I am pumped for this. Then I'm going to be reading a free ebook that I got I have no idea when. It's called Broken Symmetry by Dan Ricks, and it's very strange. Like, I don't really understand the synopsis very well, but the cover is, like, gorgeous, and I was really, really interested in it, and I haven't read a free ebook in a really long time, and I have more than a hundred, so I just should definitely get on that. So. Let's see how that goes. Then I'm going to be reading the Legend Trilogy by Marie Lu, starting with the novella, Life Before Legend, then Legend, Prodigy, and Champion. A lot of people love this series. I was asking on Goodreads because I had so much dystopian, like what dystopians would recommend, and one of my Goodreads friends mentioned this series, and it's like well-loved by a lot of people. And I haven't read any Mary Lou ever, and I know people are very, like, like her a lot, so I'm really excited 
Then I'm going to read the Not A Drop To Drink duology by Minda McGinnis, which includes Not A Drop To Drink and In A Handful Of Dust. I really, really wanted a duology because I read a lot of trilogies and series, but not a lot of duologies, so I really wanted standalones and duologies in this one to kind of burst between the trilogies which are very common in dystopian, and I'm really excited about this one. It sounds really, really interesting, but I've heard a lot of mixed reviews, so I'm excited. I'm, I'm intrigued. Then I'm going to be reading the New Soul Trilogy by Jody Meadows. This includes Incarnate, Asunder, the novella Phoenix Overture, and Infinite. I've not heard a lot of people talk about this series except Haley at Hales Loves NYC and she really enjoys it. She recently recommended it and the covers are gorgeous so I'm just like, yes, let's, let, let's try it. Let's see. Let's see what happens. And the last book that I hope to read this month is Plus One by Elizabeth Fama. I saw this on my Goodreads app and the cover. This happens to a lot of my picks, but whatever. The cover, it's just gorgeous, and I, I, I just want to read it because of that, to be quite honest. I've heard mixed reviews, but uh, I'm, 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 I'm anxious because if it's bad, that cover does not deserve a bad story. So. I'm anxious, I'm intrigued, I hope that I'll like it, I hope that I'll be able to get to it because it's at the very end for a reason, but yes. So that's it for this video, thank you guys so much for watching, let me know what you think of my picks for this month, let me know your favorite dystopian trilogies, duologies, standalones, whatever, series, let me know because I need a way to organize what I read in my dystopia months because there are over 200 books in that TBR shelf and all of them sound cool and it's very very hard to pick a reasonable number so I can digest the books. So let me know your favorites, see how I will bump them up on my list or not. I will let you know what other books I'll be adding. My fairy books will be down below because I'll also be reading that and just wish me luck. Wish me a lot of luck. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!